The European Central Bank cut its benchmark interest rate Thursday morning from 0.75% to a record low of half of 1%. Euronews reports the move was widely expected since the European economy has been plagued by slow growth and record unemployment. The lack of economic growth means consumers are spending less, so inflation has fallen sharply. That gives the ECB the leeway to cut rates, as its primary focus is supposed to be keeping inflation in check. But an economist on the BBC points out interest rates are already very low, so the drop may not make much of a difference. What we really have to hear is whether the ECB, on top of a rate cut, comes up with targeted measures to ease the credit crunch in countries such as Spain and Greece. The ECB is trying to address banks' hesitation to lend. CNBC's Steve Leisman puts that credit crunch in context. It would be like if in North Carolina, everybody in the country paid 3% for their mortgage, but in North Carolina they paid 8% or 10%, not to pick on my good friends from North Carolina. Bloomberg reports Mario Draghi, the head of the ECB, still has some options on the table to provide further aid to Europe's flailing economy. They issue long-term loans to businesses, do corporate bond purchases, sort of their version of quantitative easing. Or he could issue a forward-looking statement further on interest rates. CNN Money says as growth concerns mount, there have been signs that EU leaders may be prepared to ease up on the pace of austerity. But in a press conference following the announcement, Draghi insisted countries cannot unravel the progress they've made on cutting down their debt. The Guardian summarizes his comments. Draghi is arguing that countries cannot simply abandon their plans for deficit reduction and embark on a borrowing spree to fuel growth. Draghi's statements made it clear the ECB remains accommodative and stands ready to implement non-standard measures of monetary easing if necessary. For Newsy, I'm Katie Brennan.